first thing you want to do is have a very sharp knife to clean pike. So I prefer to use the uh, the Speedy Sharp, available at Canadian Tire. It does a great job at uh, getting a factory edge back on your knife. And I like to use two knives. I like to use a larger one. I like to use a smaller one for doing the bones. I just find it's a little bit easier. Okay, and the first part, I do a lot like a walleye. Cut around the down of the spine, around the belly. Being careful not to go too deep. All the way around like so. Cut up the belly, like that. Around this fin. Open it up there. That fin we don't need. So we cut him out. Next step is you want to take off the fillet. So I'm just going to find my I spine of the fish there and you're right all the way down. Like so. And then I'm going to flip this fillet open like that. There's the first fillet, but I'm going to keep it intact. I flip the fish. Do the same on the back side. Alright, that's fine. All the way down. Just like that. Then you cut the fish, you take it away. So you want to cut the tail, get rid of that part. So the fish is gone. So now I'm going to get rid of this knife. And then we're going to start the boning. First step of the boning is very similar to a walleye, it's just rib bones. So we're going to, that's where I like my smaller knife, it's easier to work with. So we're going to take out the rib bones. that Looks like so other side same thing So is this the unique set of bones that a pike has? <clears throat> no, this, this is the this is a still a rib bone. So every fish has rib bones. So we're gonna get to the Y bone next. So everybody is familiar with these, it's the same as a walleye. So okay, so that's the main part done. Now this is the Y bone. This is the one that everybody. This is why people don't eat pike because you can't get out this Y bone. It's really not hard to do. So the way you find the Y bone is um, follow this lateral line on the fish. That's where the Y bone starts. So the Y bone goes from the lateral line up here. So you do two cuts. First cut on a 45. You start about at the dorsal fin of the fish and cut on a 45 and open up that lateral line. You can see it's starting to come open. It actually wants to open up by itself. And then I do another cut just above that lateral line starting where I started my first cut but I'm going to taper it up to about the middle of the fish here. So then my next cut's like this. Just like that. Then, from that point forward, I just work loose the Y bone. I'm going to slide under, like so. Loosen it up. It's coming loose. And it should just peel out just like a cheese string, see? Just like that. A bit more. And out it comes. It's the Y bone. So that's your Y bone removed. Beautiful. To the other side. Same thing. Lateral line. Like so. Cut across the top. Peel it out. Just like that. Sometimes you gotta go a couple more cuts just to kind of loosen it up. And it should just peel right out, just like that. And then last step, taking off the fillet. This is another reason why I leave the tail on to last, and it kind of gives you a handle to work with. Just like this. It gives you something to work with.
So that's mm -hmm. that one. That's a beauty. That's that's how much pike you get off a yeah. play like this if you do it that way. That's yeah. it. It's how to clean a pike.